Hey everybody, I want to show you a, uh, a little religious element here. It's not oh, <laughs> I turned so those people wouldn't think I was filming them. And now they're, they're going to think I'm filming them. By the way I turn, I make people feel uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. But, and I don't want to make God feel uncomfortable either. But I hope God won't mind a little bit of a candid moment. Can you see the bit of God right there, the little religious part there? And I can't cross again, there's a car coming. Look at that house there, look really closely. Where do you see God? Come on, let's go find out. Ooh, as they often in the case in Japan, it's often a very uh, <clears throat> inconspicuous location. Here you go, little household kamidana. These are often placed in a particular location in the um, this, in the property. In this case, I believe. Let's check. Let's get off the handy dandy compass. Let's take a look, see, and uh, ask iPhone to tell us where. Where's the compass? Here we are. Where are we? Okay, where's north? So this would be, there's Northy North. So this would be the southeast corner, eh? Yeah, that's the southeast corner of this property. Very small one, it's got a little stone uh, prayer uh, plaque in there. And this is a stone kamidana, very interesting. I'm just sitting there. This is a very common thing for uh, older Japanese houses to have these little bits of little god residence on the outside. There'll be another one inside, maybe, maybe more than one, maybe one inside the house. One in the kitchen as well for protecting against fire. Oh, there's a fire station. Speaking of which, take care. I appreciate it. Fire. Yeah, fire. Sit, sit, sit. Take care. Bye -bye.